Hey, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Uh, how the heck's everyone doing out there, huh? Happy Monday. You guys ready to do some fishing? Ride day some fishing. We're here on the Golden Reserve. We're playing the game called Call of the Wild, The Angler. I, I streamed it like once or twice. This is the, uh, I think the third time I've ever streamed it. It, it. I couldn't run it on my old graphics card. It wasn't very optimized, but it's been updated a lot. It's come a long way. It runs very smooth now, at least on my end. Uh, looks beautiful. We're just going to do some good old fishing tonight. Just kind of chill out. So let's wrap, whack, <laughs> whack that rod out, I guess. Uh, here's what we're rocking. Got the nice fancy uh, fishing pole. And I got it set up with a bobber. And I think we got a minnow as bait. So there's different styles of fishing you can do. I have this current pole set up for a float fishing rig and it's got a scran snagger it's a spinning type and there's our lago which is very fancy we've got fluorocarbon uh line that as you can see can it's got strength of close to nine pounds uh cork that's our little bobber we got a hook size 10 which is a smaller size hook and then we've got it baited with minnow. So what we're probably going to catch with this, at least in the area we're in, is uh, one of these guys. Where is it at? Probably going to catch some mountain whitefish in this current location because we're up in the mountains. And I did a little fishing in this little pond earlier today, and I was catching a lot of whitefish. If anybody wants to hop in and join me, feel free. Uh, it is a multiplayer game all the time. Uh, all you got to do is join Big Rig Frosty Gaming. Uh, if you're not a friend on my Steam, then you probably won't find me. But if you are, then I should. I put myself online, so you should see me on Steam. Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, we got Chris Barrow wasting no time dropping the twenty dollar Canadian super chat. Thank you very much, Chris. Bowling room. Yeah, that. Thank you very much, brother. But yeah, feel free. Hop on and do some fishing. Um, I'm just going to do a short reel here. Short cast. We can even zoom in and take a look at our bobber. See if it gets any action. If you look very close, it's kind of hard to see. But you can see the fish in the water. It's very subtle. But you can see the fish actually come up to the bait under the water there. Yep, there's a little fish right there. See it going in there? Oh. Ah. Ow! Strike that bad boy. We got our first catch of the day. This thing's huge, chat. It's huge! What in the world is that? That is 0. 0.41 pounds. That's not even a half a pound. What the heck is that? <laughs> Look at that big beast we just caught. Catch of the day, chat. I'm going to feed the entire chat with that little fish. I think my bait was almost the same size of what I just caught with it. So it almost swallowed itself. That thing is huge, chat. That is absolutely magnificent. I got a score of one. <laughs> that thing's a beast. Uh, Duane Baker, thank you for the gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming membership going to Joe Coleman. Thank you, Joe. Or thank you, Duane. Congratulations, Joe. There you go. Thank you, Duane. Uh, what do you think, guys? First catch of the day. We're only seven minutes into the stream, and I just caught a magnificent, beautiful, massive, Mountain whitefish. That thing's beautiful. I also, you can do challenges. Uh, I forgot to activate my daily challenge. So if we go over here, species mountain whitefish, if I click on this and hit enter, we'll activate that. So now 
Once I catch two of these, I'm going to get 20, 28 XP. Can't beat that. That's worth more than uh, what we just got for catching one. All right, let's uh, try the left side of the pond here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing was huge. That's your bait. It came back to life. It, it Yeah, it, 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 that was so little. That was very small. I had a feeling I wasn't going to catch a big one for my first one. All right, so let's see if we can see a fish under the water. We were able to see that one pretty good. Sometimes you can barely see it, depending on the way the sun's shining on the water. All right, patience is the key. Patience is the key. Isn't it beautiful, though? It's so pretty. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You know you want to nibble on my minnow. Come on. Got to be a fish over here. Oh, I think I just saw one swim over. No? Yes? No. We'll just sit back and relax until we get a bite. Ah, uh, what's up, Jake Dup? Hello, Frosty. What's going on there, laddie? Ah, uh, we also got Fent Farmer coming in. Oh, big one, big one, big one. Ow! This one might be big. Oh! We got it, we got a beast. We got a beast! Point six two pounds. It's a little bigger. We're getting bigger. Or at least we're getting bigger as we go. That's a little bigger, chat. Look at that thing. That's a large one. Alright, we're increasing. Each each catch is getting bigger. That, that was pretty big. Alright, let's try the far right. Uh, thank you, Fent Farmer, and thank you, Fent Farmer. Uh, over the weekend, he joined me on the Call of Duty beta. He played along with me on some multiplayer. Had a good time, so thanks for chilling out with me, sir. Uh, we also got Miss Fire Slain celebrating 22 months. Oh, goodness! 22 months of support from Miss Fire Slain. Thank you, Miss Fire Slain. Uh, what do you think, Duane? Was that beautiful? That was a big one, huh? I'm catching big ones tonight. That was a cute fish, Frosty. That was beautiful. That was big. By the end of the show, we may break a pound. I'm working on it. You'll see a bunch of multiplayer names on here. I don't know any of those people. It's random. But uh, Stevenson, I don't know if he's planning on joining. He said he was maybe going to try. Ian Oppenheim, you said you were going to try to do some fishing. Hop on in, brother. We're friends on Steam, right? I think we are. Oh, come on. Come on, there's got to be a fish in there somewhere. We are, like, on top of a mountain right now. If you missed the intro, I was standing on a viewpoint uh, over on, like, a Adirondack thingy. Uh, we can go stand on it here in a little bit. I'll show you just how elevated we are up in the mountains. <clears throat> What's up, Nathan Mutter? Just oh come on! I might switch the bait. I'm gonna see what the mountain fish like to eat. I don't know if they like the minnows or not. Eventually, something's gonna eat it, no matter what. But we should be using the proper bait. To catch the uh, white fish. I like the sound effects. and say relaxing. Uh, the last one looked more like the bait you should be using. You should have saw the first one, Joe. It was smaller than that. <laughs> Alright, we're having bad luck here. This must not be a good spot. Oh! And right when I reeled in. There he is. Look at that. That's a doozy. That's actually a good sized fish right there. He's coming. He's coming. He's thinking about it. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Other way. Oh, you're going the wrong way, laddie. Oh, I shouldn't have started reeling in. He was right. He was right below us. Ah. Probably messed that up. Now my hand's in the way. Oh, he's coming. He's coming to it. I see him down there right by my wrist. Oh, two of them are on it. 
Uh oh, this one's a fighter. This one must be huge. This must be a big one, chat. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh! Got him. Oh, holy moly. That's a silver medal right there. Oh, wow. Two pounds. That's a two pounder, chat. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Two pounds. Just a hair under two pounds. That is huge. That's definitely the mother of the father. That's a big daddy right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Length, a little over one foot. Not bad. 1.98 pounds. Two pounds, one foot long. Good size. Very, very nice. It's quite lovely. Uh, we're friends on Steam. I posted in Discord early, but I had to come help at my mom's house, unfortunately. Oh, Ian. You should have told your mom. Sorry. I got to go fishing with Frosty. Can't help you today. Um, eight pounds. Two, two pounds, Malachi. Not bad. All right. So each time we catch something, we get a little XP. We get a little bit of money to purchase at the store for more tackle and all kinds of stuff. All right, so just got 28 XP. Let me check my challenges here. So you can only do that challenge once a day. We've completed it. So now we got all these others. What's this? Species, any. Let's activate this bad boy. So for the stream tonight, we want to try to catch 14 fish bet between now and the end of the show, and we'll get 242 XP. It doesn't matter what type of fish it is. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Uh, here's another one. Uh, catch any two. Minimum rank is gold, though. Ooh, so we got to catch a couple gold size fish tonight. I think we can pull that off. I think we can do that. We just caught a silver. I'd like to catch a gold one right here real quick. Before we do that, let me show you, chat, if you uh, missed the intro. I want to show you just how high elevated we are right now. The map's pretty good size. Here's a look at the map. It's, it's pretty huge. There's a lot. And you can drive anywhere on these paths. There's hiking trails. You can take the boats on the water. There's motor boats. Um... Currently, we're way up on the top of a mountain, and we're fishing out of this little body of water. But we'll be moving around tonight. But I just want to show you how high we are. This is... We're up there, chat. <laughs> we are up there. Look at that. That is beautiful. We are high up in the mountains. Oxygen's a little, uh, little rough up here. I'm having a hard time breathing. Adirondack, it's beautiful. The cobwebs are about to start. Sorry I missed the stream last night, fell asleep. It's all right, Chris. Yeah, I, I was. I did a couple streams over the weekend on uh, the Pew Pew channel. Uh, did I say thank you to everybody? Fent Farmer, Chris Barrow, Misfire Slain with the 22 months. Uh, thank you, all three of you. Thank you, guys. All right, we got those challenges active, so we need to get fishing. I want to try to catch the gold size um, over here. But first, let's do a little bit of research. So mountain whitefish, gold. That I, I have caught a gold one, so there is a chance we could catch another one. The best mountain fish I've caught... It shows right there is 3.2 pounds. So if we can get something a little over 3 pounds, we'll get a gold. Um, they like eggs, bread, and bloodworm. Eggs, bread, and bloodworm. I don't think I have either one of those on the hook. So here's bloodworm. Eggs. Let's do some eggs. I got a lot of eggs in stock. All right. All right, so we got eggs hanging from the hook. Let's try our luck. Maybe, maybe they'll bite faster. All right, let's try to catch a big daddy. 
What's up, Scooter's Workbench? Barry Thomas. Go Kansas City, he says. Does Kansas City play Monday Night Football? Is that what's going on? Uh, yeah, I got Call of the Wild. I've streamed that uh, a handful of times. Ooh, let's go Cow or Is it the Cowboys and Chiefs playing tonight? Oh, cool. Oh, there's a good size. He's a doozy. Look at the size of him. Oh, yeah. He's a good one. He's a good one. Come on. I don't know if he's a gold. Maybe. Ah, another silver. Hey, hey, we're in the right direction. 2.02 pounds. So this is a little heavier than the last one. We keep getting bigger ones. We're, we're, we're on a roll here. All right, so we got a 101 score. There he is. Two pounds and a little over one foot long. Throw him back in and try our luck again. Let's see here. Yeah, doing good. I just said go Chiefs because I felt like it. Oh, okay. Cowboys and Chargers, says Brittany. Okay, okay. Cowboys and the Chargers. Ah, little baby. Hey, either way, it goes towards that 14 fish we're trying to catch tonight. Oh, get your butt up here. That's a little one. Easy peasy. All right. Uh, that is 0.7 pounds, three quarters of a pound, and uh, about a half a foot long. Not very big. But you know what? That's fine. Because look. Look at our challenges. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see? Two of 14. We, we only got to catch 12 more fish, and we're going to get 242 XP. I mean, how fancy is that? You know? Let's try to do a further cast over to the rocks there. Oh. Maybe there's some bigger ones hiding over by the the edge of the mountain there. You like your hat? Very nice. Thank you. It's my big, big, frosty hat. Oh, you mean my hat in the game. Yes. I thought you meant the one I'm wearing. <laughs> What's up, Jeremiah Marpo? What's going on there? You got six fantasy players playing tonight? Well, good luck. Good luck. I don't know who any of those people are, but good luck. So we, we just cast it about 67 feet out, which is a pretty good cast for this. Uh, Ooh, you see that? You see that guy just jump out of the water? That was a big one. That that didn't look like a whitefish. That looked like a, uh, I don't know what that was. Sunfish or something. See that, that one, that, that one over there is jumping like crazy. chat my son had a fishing tournament over the weekend i already told on my other channel but uh you guys haven't heard yet he caught he got first place got a trophy he caught they went by how many fish you caught it was a tournament that went by how many you catch my son in three hours caught 96 fish over the weekend a three-hour tour Caught 96 fish, chat. Got first place, got a big old trophy and a fishing pole. Kid's a fishing maniac. All right, we're going to cast it out again. Not having much luck here. Or let's just drop it right here for a minute. Let's see if anybody takes a little nibble from there. 96 and second place was right behind him with 90 fish and then third place had like 85 fish or something like they were catching them like crazy no they were they were little they were all little fish now nah, it was catch and release oh oh oh, oh. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Uh oh uh oh ah, he's little he put up a little fight Ah, another silver. Nice, nice. He didn't fight too much like the other one did. 
So we got $32, 32 credits, one foot long, and a little under two pounds. Not bad, not bad. I bet you those taste good. A mountain white fish. I bet they taste good. What do you, has anybody ever had a mountain white fish, like ate one? Looks quite tasty. All right, I'd really like to, let's uh, switch to bloodworm. All right, yep, got a bloodworm hanging from the hook. Let's see if we can catch a big one. Yeah, 96 fish. Isn't that crazy? Uh, way to go, little Frosty. Great job. That's impressive. Please tell him congrats. Big old trophy. The trophy's got like a big bass around it. Pretty cool. He, he was pretty pumped. Uh, Dr. Colt. Vec I'm, try I'm looking at these online names popping up. At any time someone catches a fish on the server, it pops up on the left hand of the screen above my uh, camera. And I I'm looking to see if I s recognize any names in the chat. Let me know if you're joining me. Let me know, chat, so I know to look for your name. Because I might not know it's what your name is on Steam. I keep seeing fish jumping around me. Definitely in here, that's for sure. Need to catch that gold one I caught here. I caught and released a gold one uh, yesterday. So he's still in here swimming around. Just gotta catch him again. That's more than I can catch in the vid. That's more than I've probably ever caught in my entire life. What's up, Dustin Larson? Grumpy gray farmer. What's up there, sir? Come on. You know you want to nibble on my blood worm. Ooh. Mm. Ivory Ortega Martinez, good evening. He's trying to catch me a big white fish. Nobody's ever had one? Nobody said they've had one. Is there a way to hide the names and fish on the server? Uh, probably. Oh, here comes one. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at the size of that daddy. Oh, yeah. This might be the one. This might be a gold. He's putting up a decent little fight. That's, that's the biggest one we've caught so far tonight. 36 bucks, uh, 2.13 pounds. Man, he looked a little bigger than that. But I'll take it, I'll take it. We're having trouble finding that uh, gold one in here. I'd have to try a different mountain spot. Man. Biggest one we've caught so far, though. All right, let's throw her back. All right, what do you think? Should we... Uh, What's the nearest little pond? All right, let's go try this one. We're gonna hop in the Jeep and drive down the trail here and we'll try out this little pond. All right. Ah, oh, you know what? I bet you I can't get my Jeep from up here. We're gonna have to walk, we're gonna have to walk the trail. That's okay, it's a pretty trail. All right, let's go for a walk, chat. Ow, it's like right down there. It's easy, man. All right, I, I feel good. I think there might be a big daddy in this little pond. We just need to get like something a little over three pounds and we'll be good. You'll see little things like this all over the map. They give you XP, like this is uh, wild flowers or something. I forget the reason why you report it, but it gives you little XP. They're usually scattered near uh, bodies of water, places you would be close to fishing. Kind of random. How's the new job going, Grumpy? It's my birthday. To You're the big 40. 
Happy birthday, sir. Grumpy Gray Farmer's birthday, chat. All right, here's, here's another one of those collectibles. So it's like a rotted tree that's infected with, uh, whatchamacallits, termites or whatever. So you just kind of report it to the rangers and... Ooh. Before we go fishing. Got like a cave over here. Might be something fancy in here. I have to whip out my flashlight. Oh yeah, see, another collectible. A dinosaur bone. <laughs> All right, interesting. All right, let's try our luck here. Feeling good about this. We'll uh, keep the blood worm on. Let's see if we can catch something big in here. Happy 40th, man. What's up, Joe Boyer? Gene Edwards, good evening. Who's your favorite golfer? Mine's Phil Mickelson. I don't think he golf much anymore. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Ah, she's a little one. Not even putting up a fight. Another mountain fish. We're probably going to get mountain fish since we're up in the mountains at the moment. So uh, that was just a little little guy. We're going to throw him back in. About a half a foot long. <laughs> All right. Give it a bigger cast. All right. We just cast it about 51 feet out into the water. Let's see if we can get us a, a three pounder. That's my goal. A three pound white fish. That'll give us a big chunk of XP. What did you have for dinner? I had, can't remember. I mean, I remember, I don't, I forget what it's called. I know it was, it was like, uh, it was like, uh, not fettuccine, it was a different type of noodle with uh, pesto and bacon, uh, sliced bacon. I don't know how to explain it. It was delicious. Miss Frosty made it. It was really yummy. It was really yummy. I really locked it. Yeah, this is pretty. I would love fishing up in the mountains. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this might be a good size one. Oh, I ain't that big. Or is it? Ah, another silver. A little, a little under two pounds. It felt, uh, it was fighting pretty good. He's fighting pretty good, chat. I don't know why my face. Look at all the shadows. Even after the update, there, I, there's still some graphic issues. I don't know what's going on with my guy's face. But anyways, that was a good catch. About a foot long. Let's move over here a little bit. What's up, Red Ikers? How you doing there, buddy? Trying to catch a, a gold white fish, a gold metal white fish. So it's probably got to be at least three pounds or more. Keep catching like around two pounders or much smaller, but we're trying. I made fried chicken, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Mm, sound pretty good. I'll be, it'll be the best dinner you have all week. Actually, I already made some meat. I made some ground beef meat for tomorrow. I'm going to make spaghetti tomorrow for dinner. And then uh, pizza the next night, homemade pizza. And then I don't know what I'm doing on Thursday night. But yeah, I've, I've already got my dinner plans set up for the week. Yeah, Miss Frosty leaves tomorrow morning chat. Oh, my son is going with Miss Frosty. Last second decision. So, uh... He really wanted to go with, so Miss Frosty, you know, she couldn't help, but she couldn't say no. She's like, okay, I'll see if there's an available seat on the airplane. So he's going with, so it's just me and my daughter. So 
Yeah, he's going up there, and he's got a compact foldable fishing pole he's taken. So he'll he'll be doing some northern fishing for the week while he's up there with mom. All right, come on, man. About time for a bite. Steak and crab legs is for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes, bushwhacker. Uh, are we friends, though? I don't, I don't know how it works. Uh, I'm not sure how it works for multiplayer. But if we're friends on uh, Steam, yeah, just join. Oh, wow. Look at that monster right in front of me. Holy smokes. He's big. I'm going to drop this right here and just kind of wait. Oh, did you see that big one right below me? That thing is huge. This is about as close as I, I can get without reeling it all the way in. Oh, that was definitely a gold. He was huge. I don't know if this fishing pole can bring him in. Uh, tell Hyde, watch out, it's getting cold up. Oh yeah, they packed their warm stuff. They, they were packing before I went live tonight. Yep. Already chilly up north. Oh, there he is. I don't think he wants any of my, my stuff. Oh my gosh! Do you guys see that thing to the left of us? He is massive. He's so close to our uh, fishing pole. Look at it, look, or to our bait. There he is, there he is, there he is. No, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, he's going, he's going, he's going. He's right there, he's right there, chat. He keeps swimming right next to it. What are you doing? Eat it. That thing's massive. Make a right turn. He just keeps pacing back and forth. I don't even know if that's a white fish. That thing's a monster. Must be going for some muskies. Uh, I don't think he wants, I don't think, you know what? I have another idea. I got my other fishing pole. This one has a bait caster on it. So we could try our luck here. <laughs> All right, so this one's a little different. Kind of skims across the top of the water. The certain uh, hook I have on there. I think I have a frog bait. I don't know what he's gonna think about that. That was big. What's up, Patrick Wheatley? Mouse, hello. What size hook you using? Uh, 10. 10 was on the last fishing pole. This one's different. This is the uh, bait caster. I'll show you what's on this. So we have... This thing can handle 77 pounds. Max line strength, strength 40 pounds, extra heavy. Uh, I've got a hook size 10 frog top water. Techniques are twitching. So. Twitching would be left or right. That'll attract the fishies. I don't know if we'll be able to catch him or not. Hope you used Velveeta cheese to catch those fish. <laughs> All right. Might have to switch to uh, my other bait. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, that's probably too small. Here, I know what we'll do. We're gonna switch this to a hook size one spoon. 
Techniques constant. So that means we just cast it and constantly reel it in. We'll slow down our reel. Might get lucky. This is for catching bigger fish now. Come on, baby. Oh, that big one's... He's so close to where my uh, bait is. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. Alright, let's... Uh... He's on the left side here. What's up, Mr. Fireschlein? Ashton and I are watching Frosty on the 75 inch right now. I saw the picture you posted of him. That baby's growing up quick, isn't he? Oh! Just saw some bubbles right where I'm uh, reeling it in. Come on, baby. See, with this type of bait we have, it sinks too. So if you want, you can let it sink and then continue reeling it in. So let it hit the bottom of the, the floor and then start reeling it in. Maybe you can catch something, you know, a bottom feeder. I don't know. You were 42nd. Let's pick on Mia. No, don't pick on Mia. She's sensitive. Uh, hey, Wesley Bowman, what's going on? I bought three new fishing poles this year and never went fishing. Joe, my son, I need like one of those organizers. He's got too many fishing poles now. He keeps winning fishing poles. Every time he does a tournament, he wins a fishing pole. Uh, the garage is like, the one corner of the garage is just a crap load of fishing poles. And he loves using different ones. So I think a Christmas present this year is going to be... One of those big uh, organizers where you can put all the rods in and make it all nice and neat. Come on. Need to catch me a big one. I'm giving up on that left corner there. They're not they're not even nibbling or biting or nothing. What's up, Suzette Bartlett? The big fishes go for the size three and two hooks, says Dylan. Yeah, they did something on this game, sadly. Um, when the game first came out, you could buy anything from the store. And I haven't played it in a long time. So they've changed it to where you have to be a certain level to purchase certain stuff. So I'm limited to what I can get, unfortunately kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, we're having zero luck here. I really wanted to catch that big boy down there. I might have a size three. I'm not sure. I can take a look after I reel this in. Yeah, they're not they're not even chasing it or nothing. Slim pickings. Alright. Set this up. So for this one specifically, I c I can't do uh, this or that. That's all that's the only choices. But I can reset this one. See this the the best I have is six. I can't remember the one dash zero. Isn't that a big? That's big, right? I know ten small, and it goes by the lower number. But what's the one dash zero? Is that like a huge hook? And that that's pretty big, isn't it? can't tell if my size six is bigger or the one dash zero would be bigger. That's 
that's one thing I'm not super familiar with, is that. Uh, fishing hooks are an essential piece of the puzzle when it comes to angling just about anything. Different rods support different hooks, so it's always best to check. Anybody know? I want to go to where the other players and try your luck there. Uh, what's up, Austin Wall? I've been watching Custo Gaming. The guy's voice reminds me of the actor who played on Criminal Minds. What's up, WD40? Ryan Baltz. Yes, what? That's bigger? So the, the one dash zero, that's my biggest hook I have, right? That's what I'm guessing. All right, we're going to throw some cheese. I only got three different things we can put on that size of a hook. Leeches, liver, or cheese. Throw some cheese on there. I don't see any cheese on there. Oh, wrong fishing pole. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks like a pretty good size hook. All right. Let's see if we can catch this big boy. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, big daddy. You know you want some of that leech. Or cheese. Uh, some delicious leeches. One should be your biggest. Gotcha, Clark. That's what I thought. I just wasn't 100% sure. <clears throat> I think the 1-0 is bigger, but not 100% sure. Yes, he's grown quick. He's almost five months old now. Yeah, he looked like he's growing just fine in that picture. Looks like a healthy, healthy child. You can catch me with cheese on a hook, says Rhett. Ah, come on, baby. So now we're float fishing. We switched the different, I got two different rods. One's for bait casting and one's for float fishing. Baby. Yeah, we're, we're about ready to switch locations here soon. <clears throat> we'll go, uh, there's some hot spots I know where we can catch some uh, bigger fish anyway. Use chicken liver. So does my son. My son uses chicken liver a lot for catching, uh, catching bass. Catching, no, nah, not bass. He uses it to catch those those big ugly ones, the bowfin and the the alligator gar. He'll use that stuff to catch it. Man, nothing wants my stuff here. Come on. There's a big daddy. He's not really big, but we'll take him if he bites. I'm not using the proper bait to catch mountain fish. This is mountain fish. Oh, that, that guy's active on the left. Come on, come on. He's thinking about it. Nah, he just keeps turning around. They're like, we don't eat cheese. Not on a big hook like that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything here. All right, cool. We are nowhere near a place to drive at the moment. So let's... But look, look at this. Golden trout, Ulrid trout, mountain whitefish, cutthroat trout, and rainbow trout. That's what all could be in this area. So it's not like we're in a bad spot. We're actually in a pretty good spot. I just got to see here. Golden trout, cutthroat trout. Orid trout likes to use eggs, red worm, and crankbait. Spoon cheese. All right. So this guy here, the golden trout, he likes cheese. 
pearl, barley, and dough. Whew. He's a big boy. That's the biggest one I've ever caught right there. Almost 14 pounds. So we're using the right stuff. I think we can catch something here. <clears throat> Let's move over here. We're going to catch something. All right, we're gonna get something. Frosty, how was your weekend? Good. Did you do anything fun? Yes. Have you had any good desserts? Yes. How are your animals? Good. When you was a talking about your son, says Whitney. What about it? Do you men catfish the antenna? What? We used to catch big shad and cut them up into big chunks and also use the heads as bait and head catfish bite every time. All right, these fish are jumping around me. Just not biting. Probably because my hook's too big now. That's probably why. Oh, 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 oh. He's super close. He's right near it. I think I got too big of a hook now, huh, chat? Probably need to switch back to the, the way I had it. I mean, that fish is right next to me. But he's not interested at all. Yeah, I think that's why, to be honest. Let's switch back to uh we can we don't we don't have to do ten, but let's go to like six. There we go. And it said pearl barley. Let's do the cheese again, but this time on a size six. I bet you that's what it was. Just a little too big of a hook. Let's see if we have better luck now. You could. Do you have a seven or a five? Something between a ten and one oh. What's up, Walter Trent? Oh, see, look at that. Bite already. The hook was too big, chat. I just had to lower the hook size. Ooh. Got a little girth to it. Very nice. That looks like a rainbow trout. Not a rainbow trout. Ooh, golden trout. Look at that. A gold golden trout. That's our first gold catch of the night. Five pounds. Uh, almost one and a half feet long. We used cheese. Caught that thing pretty darn quick. Reeled it in in 12 seconds. That thing's pretty. That's a good looking fish right there. A gold trout. Nice. My guy looks so stinking happy. He's like, that's nice. It's really nice. <laughs> All right. I think I just completed a challenge. Nope. I need one more gold fish and we'll get 88 XP. It can be any type of fish. Just has to be a gold, uh, a gold one. Uh, ooh, we, we only need to catch seven more fish to get the 14 challenge. All right, let's rock. Instead of cheese this time, let's do pearl barley. I think the one fish said pearl barley. The rainbow trout. Yeah. I think that's that big one we saw. So now I'm going to try to catch a rainbow trout. And I remember seeing one over here. See if we can get a big daddy. What's up, Tony Knight? Why does your guy look high? I don't know. I caught a 13-pound rainbow trout in the Chesapeake Bay once. A 13-pound rainbow trout. That's what I'm trying to catch right now, a rainbow trout. Meat, cheese, crackers would be very appreciated. Very nice. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Saw you over there earlier. Take a little nibble. A little nibble. Not seeing anything.
This one's not meant to be uh, caught while you're reeling. It's supposed to just let it sit, float. Throw that line in. Come on. Cheese on a fishy G hook. Never heard of it. Yep. You can almost put anything on a hook and catch something. Almost. My son used hot dogs over the weekend. Just hot dog meat to catch 96 fish in three hours. <laughs> they were all done with uh, hot dogs. I see nothing. Nothing. All right. Oh. Something's on the radar. Oh, get over here. You know you want to bite of that. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes. Make a little. Yep. Mm hmm. Drop. That's a big one. That's huge. That's a good size. Your butt in here now. <clears throat> Come on. This might be the one. This might be. Oh, a bronze. That thing's five pounds, and it's only a bronze. Seven. It's worth seventy-four dollars. Nice. Wow. That's a rainbow trout. That's exactly what I was trying to catch there with the uh, pearl barley bait. Nice. Those things are so nice looking, aren't they? It's pretty. They're lovely. <clears throat> Did I see your... I already accepted it like two days ago there, sir. Yep. A uh, hot dog's covered with powdered Kool-Aid. <laughs> really? Brandon, that would be a catch. Uh, that sounds gross, Bushwhacker. But does it work? You being funny or are you serious? Put a credit card on there and catch you a woman who likes to spend money. Why would you want to catch a woman that wants to spend money? I don't get... What? What are you guys talking about? Look at that score. 1,825 on the score. Nice catch. All right. I'm happy with that. Let's, uh... Let's change locations. I'm going to head down. Down yonder. All right, I don't think I can fast travel. I can fast travel over here. Let's go to Emerald Lake Plateau. I might be able to hop in a boat here and go for a nice little ride in the boat. Yep, yeah, here's the boat dock. Ooh, I might. There might be a little store here. No, I don't think there's a store here. I think there's only like one main store. There's only one place on the map where you can spawn and uh, go buy like stuff. But here we are at the boat dock. Ooh, we got some pretty water over here. Nice. Spawn my little speed boat there, the Takani. That thing's sharp. Uh, Tony Knight, welcome back to Jack Whacker Level 1. Thank you, sir. That is Tony Knight. I do appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Now, that's what I use sometimes down at my local dam, and I rip light lips like crazy, really. So, <laughs> Kool-Aid powder on a hot dog. I have never heard of that. Wow. Wow. Bush is actually right. You can use that to get catfish. Wow. I'll have to tell my son. I wonder if he knew that. Huh. Kool-Aid powdered covered hot dogs. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting, eh? All right. Let's get into uh, the deep area here in the middle of the lake. And we can use the bait caster to try to reel in a big boy or something. Yeah. That was a nice fish, uh, June bug. 
Oh, I think we got a collectible out here. So we just got done fishing way up there. See where that... If you look out in the distance, it's kind of hard to make out, but straight ahead there's like a lookout tower. That's where we were fishing a little bit ago, way up on that mountain peak. forget what these are. Some radars or something that you're supposed to report. Alright, let's set up shop right about here. Alright, we are going to use the bait caster this time. Uh, I'm not sure if this body of water really tells us much about what's in it. It could be anything. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to See how deep it is first off. 82 feet. Ay caramba. I'm going to let that bait caster sink to the very bottom. So if you look at the bottom right hand of the screen, see the uh, yellow numbers keep dropping? The bait caster will just keep sinking. So we're going to let it drop 82 feet down below. And then I'm going to reel it all the way back to my, you know, from the deep end. Maybe we'll catch, like, a monster down there. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good uh, tactic or not, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> uh, Knight Rider Gaming celebrating his one-month anniversary. Thank you, sir. Yeah, baby. <laughs> What's up, Norm Townsend? Evening, Frosty reeling a big one. I'm going to try it, Thomas. I'm letting this thing sink all the way to the bottom. We got 20 more feet to go. Uh, what's up? Uh, Chris Wilson says, do you, are you talking to Ian? Grape cherry says Jimmy. Ooh, grape cherry. Cherry flavor was always the favorite for my local cat, catfish. Wow. All right, so we're sitting at the bottom of the floor right now of the lake. I'm gonna start reeling it in. I'm gonna slow down the reel. And we're gonna do a constant reel. And just see if something big's way down there. Just never know, right? You never know. 82 feet below. That's stinking. That's pretty deep for a lake. That's way down there. All right, no luck so far. I don't know if that's a good uh, tactic or not to let it sink and reel it in. I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. I just thought it'd be worth trying, huh? Yeah, no luck on our first attempt. Well, dang it, Bobby. All right, we'll just... Uh... This time we'll just reel it in slowly. Do little twitching. How's Thomas Heyman doing? You doing all right? The price of the rainbow trout is actually pretty accurate, is it? We are having zero luck so far. nothing. Did I put that frog back on? No, I got the bait caster on. It's my only two options, to be honest. I can switch to a uh, different reel, but it's not going to be as effective. So yeah, we'll keep what's on there. Plus, this is the bigger hook, the way they have it set up. So we should be able to catch something bigger, I, I, I hope. I'm tired and I'm going to sleep. All right, Barry, have a good night, brother. Sleep well, sleep well. Have you tried to go for lake trout yet? Uh, not at the moment, no. And what are you talking, in the game or real life? 
in the game, I just try to catch whatever I can catch. Right now, I'm just trying to catch something big. <laughs> Do some stop and go. What's up, Gene Edwards? Good evening, Mike Alamandinga. How are you, sir? And just a heads up, I don't know if everybody caught my post over the uh, weekend. There won't be any live streams tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday on this channel. Um, it's just not going to work out too good with Miss Frosty being gone. I'll be hanging out with my daughter and taking care of things, all the animals around, you know, a lot of stuff to be taken care of while she's gone. So there will not be any evening streams uh, most of the week tonight and possibly Friday night. Friday night, we sh should be for sure. I should be doing something Friday night. I'm doing well. I hope you and the fam are doing good. Miss Frosty and my son leave bright and early in the morning. I take them to the airport. They're heading north. And then uh, my daughter and I will be hanging out here because she's got school and... Uh, yeah, school. <laughs> All right, what the heck, man? We're having zero luck here. Not even a bite, chat. Nothing. Maybe we'll do, we'll try a little float fishing in this location before we give up. But I thought we would have caught something by now. Yeah, not much luck. I don't even see any fish like below me or anything. Looks like a nice spot too, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's a crappie spot. Oop. Return to seat. Let's head down to the to uh, a little more narrow spot down there, I guess. Yeah, not much luck so far, huh? Doing well. Hope you and the family are good. Farming on Friday, says Kevin. Possibly. Not sure yet. I did get uh, early release, but I can't even show you guys because I won't be streaming tomorrow. But uh, SCS sent me the key to uh, the new DLC for Euro Truck Simulator. But I ain't even going to be able to show you guys early, so kind of sucks, but... It is what it is. Let's try our luck here. This is even more relaxing than farming. This is super relaxing, Isaiah. Already had a couple people say they're tired and going to bed. <laughs> uh, Kyle Walters. Thank you, sir. Coming in with the gifted membership. Thank you. Going to Jimmy Cox. Very nice. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, Farming on Friday. Anyone else try corn for trout, says Bushwhacker. Corn for trout. Corn for trout. Nope. Nothing. No bites. Nothing at all. Got some weird collectibles sitting over there, though. We're going to go collect that real quick. 
XP helps me level up so I can buy more crap at the store. Bigger hooks, bigger, bigger everything, so. Anytime I see something collectible, we gotta grab it. Alright, more wild flowers or something. 10 XP, woohoo! Little boat dock here. Switch to this setup. I'm gonna go ahead and put the big, uh, the big hook on there now, because I feel like there's probably some big stuff in here. Maybe let's try some leeches. Try some leeches in here. Ooh, there's a big fish right in front of me. Kind of hiding in the shade, but I, he's there. Definitely there. Mr. Lewis, 16 months. Says wouldn't want to have a 16-month anniversary with anyone else. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How's Mr. Lewis doing? How's the golfing going? Getting those, uh, getting those strokes in there, sir. Thank you for the 16 months, Mr. Lewis. Love the show. Hit 4,700 hours in FS22 a few months ago. Saw you stream one night and started enjoying farming again. Thank you, Patrick Wheatley. Yeah, I've, I had to sell the barn, by the way. Uh, the cow barn on the survival series. It was the cow barn. Something's wrong with it. So I sold it, replaced it with a different one. Everything's working fine. It didn't matter. The slurry, it had nothing to do with the slurry trailer. I purchased the one I originally wanted, and it works. So that's all set up and fixed. So, yeah. Sad. Very sad. <laughs> we're on we're on a we're on a crap streak. Not having much luck here. Started off strong and now we're just we're just struggling. I'm better just trying to get rid of this cough. Still not feeling good, huh? All these other people in the server are catching stuff. I'm not. <laughs> I started out catching quite a bit, but now we're now we're struggling. Maybe I'm just in the wrong spot. Is anybody near me? Not really. There's someone fishing over here. Someone fishing over here. I mean, everybody's scattered out. Ooh, there's people over here. Let's go meet these people. Let's go meet those people over there. I don't think I'm going to catch anything here. All right, let's go catch some real fishermen. Head down the river here. There's two other uh, online fishermen hanging out down here at the other end of the mountain. Uh-oh. Is there a way through this? <laughs> Ooh. A little narrow. I feel like we should be whitewater rafting through here. Barely big enough for this little boat. So pretty though, huh? Even though we're not catching anything. Beautiful scenery, right? Beautiful mother nature. This slightly reminds me of, uh, remember on The Crew, the video game The Crew, where you could hop in the boats during the races and switch from like airplane to a car to boat. This reminds me of the, the boats that you would spawn into. 
All right, we should start be uh, running into a couple fishermen down here. I don't know if they're just fishing off the shore or if they're in boats. We're getting close. Thank you, Mia. Have you ever went whitewater raft? I have, yes. Yes, I have. Pennsylvania. Allegheny Mountains. Whitewater rafting. Did it quite a bit, actually, when I was a younger teenager. Used to go on, like, survival trips for, like, a week where you'd go hiking. Uh, you'd go into Laurel Caverns and... Oh, got a collectible here. Yeah, I'd go caving, hiking... Ooh, 110 XP and 100 credits just for, uh, that was different. Reputation points. Fancy. All right, where is this Jack Whacker? All right, he's right across from us. And he is in a boat. I see him over there. I want to fish with him. I want to fish next to him. Dr. Colt. Wish there was a little horn on here. There he is. <laughs> I want to fish with you, all right? We'll have a little fishing challenge. How's it sound? Some random guy is probably, probably thinking, who's this weirdo? <laughs> this big rig frowsty. Maybe we can get our lines caught on each other. The graphics aren't too shabby, yeah. They're kind of, they're pretty. I do wish there was a little more clarity looking into the water so you could see the fish better. But other than that, it's the graphics are pretty nice. What kind of uh, bass boat? I have no idea. I don't know. I think they're all the same. He's a level 25. I'm a level 13. So this guy's played this game quite a bit. Level 25 is pretty high up there. I wonder if it'll show him if he catches one. Like, will it show him holding it? It's not showing him. Does it show him reel it or cast it out or anything? Cool to see. What's up, Jordan Kenny? Yeah, these, these other people are catching stuff left and right. Tablet died. Nice. Got the phone charged up. Uh, Okoye River in Tennessee been four times, always a blast. Oh, no, I didn't whitewater raft in Tennessee. Went tubing. I've been tubing in Gatlinburg. That was fun. All right, I'm switching back to the uh, bait caster. See if we have any luck here. Taylor Farms. What's going on, buddy? I'm just doing some fishing. Not having much luck in the last... Oh, it feels like it's been 30 minutes at least since we caught a fish. We're, we're in a cold streak here. Be nice to catch something, just for some confidence, right? Fish the edge where the grass is, says Aaron Vernon. That would be cool if the lines got caught on each other. <clears throat> Come on. Give me something. Give me something. How much money am I up to? We might have to go shopping. I got 2100 bucks. 
We might have to go buy a new rod. You can have as many rods as you want as long as your backpack can hold it. And you can also store it if you don't have room in your backpack. Maybe we'll go buy a whole new setup and try to get something going here because we're having a horrible cold streak. Yeah, we're struggling. Yep. Let's head back to the uh, main place. Right here. I'm tired of not catching anything. All right, ready? Let's go spend some money. That's what we, we always like doing on these streams. Spend the money we make. All right, so buy equipment. See, that's what I was talking about. I can only get so much. So before they put this whole level system in, I purchased this one, luckily, that, that can hold max line strength of 13 pounds. See, I can't even get a good rod chat. I can't catch the big monsters. I don't have a setup for it. Like, look at this. This guy can handle 28 pounds. I won't be able to purchase that until I'm a level 28. Why did they do that? Why did they add all that? When the game first come out, if you had the money, you could buy all this stuff. You didn't have to worry about what level you were. Uh, bait casting, all, all I can afford is this. Um, that ain't gonna do a whole lot for me. And then match, I already bought one of those. I could sell that. I could sell that and buy the bigger one. That's the, be that's the best I can do right now. So yeah, I could sell. I could sell this guy for $175. Oh, I already have it set up. That's probably why it won't let me. Well, first, let's buy the next one. This one's pointless. I already have a... F this fishing pole does better. It can hold 13 pounds. Um, bait casting. Yeah. Stick to the spinning and the match. But let's uh, upgrade our match. So 750. And then it can hold up to 11 pounds of max line strength. I think I already have lines. Strength, eight pounds. Yeah, I've got this bad boy that can hold 11 pounds, which is perfect. So we'll line it with the monofilament. As far as lures go, there's a hook size seven, six. There's a hook size five. Uh, don't change the topic with me. Evening Frosty, are you fishing for fish? I'm trying, yes. I should try and make a trip to Brown... Uh, State Park in Indiana. Beautiful scenery here in the fall. I'm about an hour away. I'm very far away from there. It's a weird thing when you're in a boat, you fish towards the bank. When you're on the bank, you fish as far out. You can, I know. It is a little weird, isn't it? Um, sink. Constant techniques. Hooks. So I'm able, luckily, before they added this, I bought one size of every hook. So I do have some big hooks in uh, storage. I just need to switch them over to uh, my book bag, my backpack or whatever. Natural baits. We're still good on all that. Live baits. I did run out of minnow. Let's buy like 10 of those. Jig heads. 
I can't afford, I can't buy any jig head because I'm not leveled up enough. Same thing, look at that. I can't even buy the soft plastics because you got to be at least level 15. All right, so I've got everything I can get at the moment pretty much. Now let's build a, uh, build a different one here let's do float fishing again yeah we're gonna use the matchmaker the big one we just bought dang it and i need a real so what kind of reel do you put on the match that's my question Maybe it says in the handbook. I don't know what all this crap is. Basic controls, float fishing. Anybody know? Because I have this. That's that's for spinning, bait casting, and then type says match. What the heck's match mean? What do you put with the match? Is what the matchmaker is a mid-level float fishing rod. Okay. Representing a considerable step up from the Genesis, the rod itself appears to be entirely brandless if it was has been sourced locally and crafted. Okay, so that is for float fishing. So I would need another... Whatchamacallit. That's bait casting, spinning... It's only six pounds. See, I want to use this one, so I need to remove that from the other one. Dang it. Which is fine. That is fine. Yep, I need to get rid of him. Detach. All right. We're going to build one here, chat. There. There. No, I don't want that line. Kind of wanted the thicker line. That only does eight pounds. Hang it. <laughs> Jeez. Kind of like. Going back and forth here. Lines. Nope. I want the 11 pounder. This one, which is on my other reel. You son of a gun. Ah. Now I gotta disassemble this. Put this string on this one and whatever on there. Okay, now we can build the other one. Yeah, that's the 11 pounds. Floater, doesn't really matter. This one's bright, I can see it pretty good. And we'll go with the big hook. And I've been having good luck with the minnow. All right, whew. So we, f we built our uh, fishing pole there. And the other one's also built, so we're good. Gemini, Christmas. Don't say you're just starting. I was being weird. Use my froth, Dallas Blue, that touchdown. Uh, what Bradley Simmons say? Okay. 
We're just gonna test it out right here on the dock. So here's our first setup. Here's our new setup with our new rod. Ooh, that's a long rod. That's huge. That's way bigger than the last one. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. 123 feet cast. Oh, geez, that's gonna be a long reel. That's a huge cast for float fishing, huh? See how it goes. He didn't make it. I'm stuck at the same spot as you, not leveled up yet to get the good stuff. Yeah, why did they do that? I remember when the game came out, like my first goal was to just buy one of everything. That's what I was trying to do as I made money. I just bought one of everything because you can have as much as you want in storage. Which reminds me, I wanna, I wanna get some bigger hooks out of storage. Can't tell if that's a fish next to it or not. People catching bluegale, walleye, and I'm out here catching nothing, nothing at all. Nice. What's up, Ice Dragon? Josh Rutledge, good evening. Pops went fishing today and he got five bass around one to two pounds each. Nice. It's a good day of fishing right there. I haven't caught anything in like 45 minutes. This is too much like real life for me. <laughs> can't catch a darn thing. And the sun's going down, which sucks. You can't control... Uh, can't control the day and night cycles on this game, sadly. All right, I reeled it in pretty close to the shore here. Let's see if anything bites. Nothing at all. All right, let me see. We need to run back. So dumb. Can't uh, get into your storage unless you go to the store. So weird. There's a few little things I don't like about this game. That you'd think that would be stuff you could just do at any time. All right, storage. Look at all these rods I have in storage. I need to sell some, huh? All right, scran snagger. That's in my backpack. Look at all these nice rods I got in here. I didn't even know these were in here. We're going to place this one into storage. That's our old one. Bait casting, spinning. So we have a bait casting hole, but it's like faded out. I don't know why that's faded out like that. Oh, it's because it's the one that's active. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 28. That's the best one right there. All right, reels. Six pound strength. Yeah, those are all the best right here. Active. Five pounds. Whew. Let's put him in storage. The Nebuchadnezzar. 
Um, I bought two of those. Why do I have two? why do I have three Nebuchadnezzars? What is going on here? Not sure what that's all about. Lines, eleven pounds. Yep, that's good. All right, so this is a hook size one that I have active. And I've got those sitting there. All right, hooks, let's trade in some hooks. So is four, is four dash zero, is that like massive? Like I don't understand the dash. There's one, look at all these different sizes I have. Would 4 0 be the biggest hook I have? How many fish have you caught tonight? Uh, about 20 altogether, I'd say. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the 7. Trade that in for... Trade that in for a three, maybe. Trade the six in for a big four. I think that means it's massive. I'm going for any fish at this point. <laughs> all right, all the baits are in here. All the live baits are active. Jig heads, eights, ten. Oh, I see what's going on here. Hook max three. All right, we'll throw one of those in. Let's look at this. Okay. This guy. And it doesn't show anything visually, so they all look the same. 4-0 is the biggest. All right, I'm putting the big 4-0 on there. <laughs> I figured. I just wasn't sure. And I guess there's only a few baits that can be put on the 4-0. So we got cheese, liver, or minnow. I haven't used any liver yet. Let's uh, try some liver. All right, so six pound strength on that. 11 pound drag. Wish I had a better, uh... it's not the best setup. That's what I mean, like you can't, uh... Can't really make too strong of a setup because I'm not leveled up enough, sadly. All right, I'm gonna hop in the boat and head out more into the middle of this lake. I, I have had luck catching um, some pretty decent sized fish out here. See if the luck continues. I don't know. I don't know. A Lionheart 500 Sport Neptune. Somebody was asking what type of boat. They're all the same. They just have different paint jobs. All right. I've had a lot of luck uh, down here where the, the middle... Right in like this area, I've caught quite a bit of good stuff. So we'll see if that continues to be true. Dash zero gets bigger with the first number. So four is the biggest, it looks like. 
Alright. Sounds good to me. Alright, we'll get kind of close to the land, but still out here towards the middle. Right about here. That way we can cast left or right. Kind of do whatever. Alright, so this is our big boy set up with the uh, bait caster. That's for spinning, I believe. And then this is float fishing with the liver on the end. Alright, let's try close to the shoreline first. That's the biggest hook. It's the biggest hook we can get. So. Rotten, smelly chicken livers, great for catfish. Curious how many hours you've got in this game. I don't know. I don't even know at the moment. I'd have to look on Steam. Not not a ton. Maybe, maybe 20 hours. I don't even know if that's that much. Uh, one through six is bigger to smaller. One, though, six is small to bigger. Number one through number six is bigger to smaller. So four is smaller than the one? I'm super confused. One through six is small to big. Oh, one through six. Oh, okay, I, got, I see what you mean. Yeah, so this is bigger than the one. We need to catch something, guys. My goodness. This is getting kind of brutal. Getting kind of brutal. I think we've... I'm not even kidding. I think we've gone an hour without catching anything. That's pretty crappy. Especially on a video game, you're supposed to catch quite a bit of fish. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not a good virtual fisherman, I guess. Oh, what's up, Zach Ryan? Rabbit Rob, good evening. I'm fishing, just not catching much. <laughs> the eagles are actually pretty good, says me. I wouldn't know. The bigger the number, the bigger the hook. Okay. Josh Rutledge is like, what kind of fish are you going? I'm going for the ones that bite. That's all I'm kind of looking for at the moment. Just something. Not much luck. Excuse me. All right, let's try the other fishing rod. Just saw a good size one jump out of the water over here. Come on, baby. Oh, they're jumping. They're there. Just got to get one to latch on. Hence why I asked about your progression. Priced it on Steam locally, and it's $45. The game is $45. <sighs> Man. That's pricey. Jeez. Yeah, I bought it when it first released. Still charging $45 for this. That's crazy. Woo! I had much better luck off stream. I'm not even kidding. I was catching a lot of fish off stream. <laughs> now that I'm live, I'm struggling real bad to catch anything. But if you were here at the beginning of the show, you, you have proof that I did catch some fish at the beginning. But 
Now we are slim pickings. Come on, baby, bite. Don't let me down. Then we'll be fighting the darkness. And it feels like nighttime takes forever. So we'll be fishing in the dark here soon. Then you, then you really can have a snooze fest. <laughs> uh, post nasal drip is the key. It's going simple. That's, that's the corn. Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? What the heck? What's a guy got to do to catch a fish around here? Let's go into these little scattered bodies of water here, all within the land. See if we have any luck with the float fishing. Switching. All right, we got some delicious liver on there. Maybe I need to put the cheese back on. Maybe the hook size is just way too big. I know what's gonna happen. The spinner I have is horrible. So if a big fish tries to bite onto this, I'm not even gonna be able to reel it in anyway because this reel is garbage. So it's probably not smart to have a massive hook on the end of this. <laughs> probably not. And it'll probably be like it was when we were up in the mountains. Once I lower the size of the hook, I'll probably start getting some bites. Let's do that. I think I think that's the problem. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go back to we'll try a three. Um, and now we can throw the we can do minnow. We can do cheese. Throw the minnow on there. Now watch, I get a bite. Within like 10 seconds, we'll probably get something. Can you change the depth of your bobber? No. Not that I have been able to tell, no. No. Almost forgot to say hi. What's up, Pleasant View? Try going catfish, catfishing out a river with your chicken liver. Yeah, we'll have to try something here. I've been to three different locations now and not doing well. I think it's just because of the poor setup on the fishing rod. And I, I should have kept it the way I had it. I've, I've messed up too much of my setups. I had a nice setup going, and I went and switched everything around. Now we're not catching anything. Messed it up, Chiap. Messed it up.
But I think that's I think the game knows when you're when you're doing it wrong. So maybe that's their way of telling you like, hey, you're you're not gonna catch anything with that setup. I'm gonna try one more thing here, and that's put the ten back on. And we'll stick some bread on there. Oh, dang it. Got the wrong uh, rod out. Frosty. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I should have looked at that before I reeled it in. Maybe you can. Wait a minute. You can do the bobber. Ah, oh, look at that. You can roll it down. Look at that. I did not see that. Top right corner. Ah, that makes a difference, huh? All right, let's try that. Let's go, like, two feet. Did not realize that. So now the hook will sink a little deeper. There's more distance between the bobber. Didn't realize I could do that. Duh. Uh, Kevin Flores, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Frosty, did your wife take in your son, throw your plans off, or share chores? Nah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be all right. How did he get out of school? You just told him I ain't gonna be there for a week. I <laughs> uh, hope the trip goes well. Are the pets aware? Oh, they'll be aware. They'll be whining and crying. And any time Miss Frosty walks out of the house, uh, two of the pugs, they just start crying. Oh! Uh-oh. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, finally! Oh my gosh, it looks like a little baby, but hey. I don't care. We caught a fish, dang it. Hey! Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. So I... I put the, the size 10 hook back on, which is for smaller fish. But we finally caught something. That was like a one hour, sh just crap. That was an hour of catching nothing. And uh, finally we got something. So hopefully uh, it's more catches to go after that. Oh my goodness, Lottie. Whew. Yes, oh man. Holy mackerel. Oh, no bait attached. I mean no bait attached. Aw, did I run out of, uh... What did I run out of? Did I run out of bread? Weird. Hmm. All right, finally caught some. Thank you so much, Mr. Flores. Thank you, brother, for the 20 bomb. Appreciate you, man. Back working on Alice Tractor says Pleasant. Nice. Between me and my wife, we have seen seven fishing poles. Oh, you have seven fishing poles. Nice. Arguably bait, but you caught something. Yes, finally. Miracles. Bless. <laughs> finally got one. Yeah, I'll, uh, next next cast, I'll put the bobber deeper, as deep as it goes. But with the 10 size hook, I don't think we're gonna catch anything massive. Just glad we caught something. Nope, oh, another one, another hit. Yeah. All right, now we're now we're on a little roll here. Good, good, good. It's another baby, but. We'll take it. Yellow perch, a little under one pound, and caught it with bread. That's two catches in a row with the bread. So bread is uh, catching the attention of the yellow perch. All right, nice. Now I'm gonna throw a 
a little bigger hook on there. Let's bounce up to the three. That's actually a big jump. We can still, yeah, we can't even do bread now. Let's switch over to do red worm. Let's try the old red worm on there. Let's move closer to this bridge here. I know fish like to hang out under bridges. Oh, what the heck is that? Shallow water right here, though. Super shallow. And I forgot to uh, put it down a little more. But see if we catch anything under the bridge. When you got to one, the bigger the number, the bigger the hook. You should tie your hook on, not throw it on. Hook size one to ten is the bigger the number, the smaller the hook. Yep. Are you watching things in reverse, Sandy? We went we went through all that a long time ago. Just enough for one fish stick. I'll take 11 more, please, says Mr. Rutledge. Yeah, I think I... When I went to the store, I put the six and the seven in storage. I should have kept those on me. I got too many of the large hooks on me at the moment. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fifty-four right now. Getting a little chilly, isn't it? Have I ever eaten yellow perch? Not that I know of. If it's a one dash O, that is a size one of hook. A 10 will be a 10 without a dash. That is for big fish like catfish, musky pike, all your big ones. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> it says 55. Hey, Big Frosty, what have you caught so far? Little, little, little of everything. We had a little cold streak here for a while and slim pickings. I think we might be a little too shallow. We're like, yeah, I think we're a little too shallow. Come on, you know you want to nibble on that hook. What did I put on there? A three, huh? I, sh I should have just left the ten on there. I bet you that's why it's not working. I can't use any of those big hooks, chat, until I get a better spinner. I just need to stop messing around with my equipment. Stick to the ten. Stop messing around, Frosty. All right, let's, uh, let's see. Bass, they like the popper, they like the frog and the crankbait. Bloodworm, redworm, hot dog. Let's try to catch a bluegill. Can I drive through here? Let's try to catch a bluegill with some hot dog. 
some hot dog on the end of my end of my stick. Let's see how we do here. How did the fin fishing tournament go? My son won. He got first place, got a trophy, caught 96 fish, Jeremy. I'm not even kidding. And second place had 90 fish. And I think third place had like 80. There we go. Had like 85 fish or something. A green sunfish. Something different. There you go. Uh, a little over a quarter pound. Half a foot long. <laughs> and we caught it with a hot dog. <laughs> Have you got a place to sleep in the game? No. I wish. There's. I don't think there's any way to fast forward time, sadly. All right. Nice, nice, nice. So the hot dog worked pretty good. Let's try over here. How close are we on our challenge? Challenges. Oh, my one challenge expired. Can't. We weren't able to catch all those fish, I don't think. We had to catch like 20 fish in a certain amount of time and... Yeah, we lost. I let my dogs out and they're barking like crazy. Sure, my neighbors are loving that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, got a dinger. Ding. Oh. Get your booty over here right now. All right, what do we got here? Yellow perch. Uh, so the hot dogs attracting uh, different species here. We got yellow perch. We had a little sunfish before that. Almost a pound. A little over half a foot long. Yeah. All right. Got a nice little hot spot for little ones. Take it. Sandwich food from that fish. I've, I've been wanting some fish. Some nice breaded fish. Nice bread breaded fish sandwich. I love I love a well breaded crispy fish. Very nice with some hush puppies. Oh yeah. Dip those hush puppies in some like maple butter. Mm. Thank you very much. Can't see under the water. I can't tell if there's a fish down there or not. Oh. All right, we're, we're doing good now. They might not be big, but at least we're catching stuff. All right, another green sunfish. Very nice. Five credits. And when you catch these little guys, it takes forever to uh, level up. But that's fine. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's go find another spot here. Check our map. Let's go down into the river. Let's start heading this way. Get into some river fishing. You should have lowered your bobber. You should do a live one time at a fishing tournament if your son lets you. I, I have a I have a crappy phone. I wouldn't be able to barely do any recording with that. Oh, what's over here? What's over here? Where am I headed right now? Oh, I'm heading back towards uh, the base. Let's cast a few lines here. All right, this time I'm gonna just try my luck with the bait caster. See if we can get a decent sized fish. Get lucky.
So I got two different uh, rods I switch between. This one is the better chance of catching a bigger fish. Just haven't been having any luck with it tonight at all. I don't think we, yeah, we haven't caught anything with this fishing pole tonight. We've only been catching stuff with the float fishing. Let it sink. I, I did, I tried that earlier too, Joshua. I was letting it sink and we weren't getting any bites. The one, I let it sink like 80 feet and then I reeled it in slow and nothing. Just having bad, I'm just having bad luck fishing tonight the lord needs to sink some yeah like i said i tried that no luck you have what the iphone 5 6 thank you very much I uh have you got a place that you can use your bait caster cast out and see what the depth of the water is yep 35 feet right where we're sitting. Oh, I really don't want that sun to go down. That'll probably be when we end the stream, to be honest. Is when the, when the sun goes down. So I let it drop about 20 feet. We'll do some stop and go. Doesn't look like it'd be that deep where we're at, huh? Pretty crazy. Logan Goddard. Hello, Lousa. Has anybody hit the like button yet? I apologize. I haven't been catching many fish. Hasn't been very uh, exciting. But if you feel bad for me and want to hit the like button, that'd be great. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you. I have better luck on uh, Atlant uh, North Atlantic fishing. Come on, baby. Do a little bit of jigging. I don't blame you, Elizabeth. Sleep well. <laughs> nice night for fishing, or maybe not. I, it's always nice. But yeah, you kind of kind of hope you'll catch something. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? Uh, we could switch to the frog. Frog is top water. So then you do just do a constant uh, reel. Samsung S23. Dan Fouts is through patch down past a Charlie Joiner. Sounds nice. Sounds very nice. <laughs> Come on. You fish don't like little froggies? What's going on here? All fish like little froggies, right? Whew. We're stinking it up. 
Got the bobber set to drop four feet from the uh, hook line. See if that does us any justice. Come on, you stinker. I want to hear that dang. I want to hear that dang right now. <laughs> and this isn't a game I'd want to play enough to like level up to where you need to be to get the other stuff. Maybe, maybe there's like some cheat codes. I wouldn't mind having some cheat codes to be able to buy anything at the store so you can just relax and go fishing and Try to catch what you want to catch, you know what I mean? The forcing you to level up to buy stuff kind of sucks, you know? Kind of painful. A good friend of mine swore by fishing with bread and fried chicken skin. I tried it and caught a four pound smallmouth bass in about 10 minutes. Then spent the next four hours with nothing. Oh yeah? I've, I've been to places, like, I've been on, <laughs> I've, I guess it just depends where you're at. I've seen fish devour french fries. I feel like you can almost use anything in real life. But, uh, we are struggling. Absolutely struggling. Pretty boring, huh? Uh, let's try a whole nother spot. Let's go right here. Wow! Nice little walk, huh? Go for a little walk. Get down to uh, maybe try to catch some stuff flying down the uh, waterfall there. Like the bears try. The way the bears catch the fish. There's Bernie. <laughs> Bernie the bear says only you can prevent wildfires. Fire danger is moderate. Uh oh. Don't slip. That's a long cast from up there. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna head right down through here. And try to catch some stuff down here at the bottom of the waterfall. Got a nice current. You never know. Might get lucky. That's beautiful, huh? Look at that. That's pretty. Alright, I'm gonna try to use... Oh yeah, there's fish... Oh, yeah. They're in there. We'll try the little froggy for a little bit. And if that don't work, just do some float fishing. Stop, drop, and roll.
What's up, NW? How are you? Bernie doesn't want to get a copyright strike. The mustache is hilarious. <laughs> a bear with a mustache. Oh, come on, fishies. You know you want that little frog. Now bite it. Come on. You know you want it. Struggling. It's got some poor setups. That's all. that a stinking reel any reel would have been nice um i haven't been catching anything with this crap so might as well take it apart want to set up a jig head Let's do eight. Gosh, come on. Three. There we go. Constant stop and go twitching and jigging. All right. All right, so we got a new setup. Let's see how this goes. Constant or stop and go, it said. Cast upstream and let the bait flow. Better watch your mouth, Kevin. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Anything you say, Daddy. Brand new setup here. miss the water. There's like no room there. Uh, I need to head further down here maybe. Oh man, that's pretty. See what we do here. <laughs> I feel like we'd want to cast it this way and catch them on the way back in. Hold space bar to jiggle and you'll catch them fish. Yeah. Watch me catch one. I've been trying this all night, Stevenson. I've been trying all the different methods. But because you said it, probably you'll catch one now.
Ugh. This is horrible. Downright horrible, chat. Try some float fishing <laughs> in a waterfall. Where's my space bars broken? Thanks, Stevie. You just hold it. Hold it down. We are so struggling. seven feet over there by the edge. That doesn't seem realistic, huh? This is this is very boring chat. I'm just saying. This is pretty rough. What was I thinking? Streaming a fishing game. Oh man, fishing, watching Frosty and the cobwebs. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's worse, that cobweb or the cobwebs of me not catching a fish. The struggle is it's too it's too realistic. <laughs> oh well, guess we got to chat together for a couple hours, huh? that fits the 10. Can't you drive a boat in this game? Yeah, I did that. I, I, I did a couple boating trips. Been on a cold streak here for a while. Not much luck. But I started off pretty strong. We started the night off good. We were up in the mountains. And then as I've moved around, things have gotten worse. <laughs> and messing around with my... Uh, fishing pole setups has definitely caused problems. And I knew that would happen. Should've just left it the way I had it. Oh yeah. Whee! It fell too far. What do you mean? Just trying to go for a little ride. try our luck down here for a couple casts, and if that don't work, we don't know what to do, right? Just 
Just remember, it's called fishing, not catching. True. You're right about that, rat. Pretty sun sunset. Nice evening, though. At least it's pretty, huh? Something good to look at. Use a slice of bread for some bite. Well, for the spinner bait, that is the bait. You don't put... It doesn't let you put anything on it. Now, if we're doing the float fishing like we've been doing, that's where you put bait on. You can't do that on the uh, spinning bait cast. All right, this is the one. This is the one. We're going to catch something here. Maybe. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> you could put scent on your spinner bait. Yeah. Spray it down like on Call of the Wild. Spray some scent on it. Put some Kool-Aid powder on my hot dog. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Can you do corn? I don't think so. Got fish hopping next to me. What's up, Mr. Vanderford? How are you? You watch your life pass with that jump. It should just let you jump down there. Have have an adventure. Have a nice dip in the uh, in the lake. Do some diving. probably catch one with this setup here. Ain't gonna be nothing big, but uh, let's switch from a hot dog. We'll switch from a hot dog to a marshmallow. What do you think? Stick a marshmallow on there? We haven't tried any marshmallows yet. Let's try our luck out. Yeah, no corn. What's up, Corey Arendt? How are you? I don't think anybody joined me tonight. Had a few people said they would, but nobody joined. Very sad. I'm all alone by myself out in this lake, out in the middle of nowhere. Some of your bigger fish have been caught on small bait. This is true facts. Evening, a tadpole would be nice to catch. Anything would be nice to catch. No, we did start off strong. We were up to, at one point, I think 12 or 13 on that one challenge, and then we just had a cold drought where we didn't catch anything. And now the sun's going down on us. Nothing biting out here. I'll lower your cork, Dakota. <laughs> do you need to lower your cork? I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe the cork needs lowered. Maybe it needs completely cut off. I don't know. Yeah, we're having... It's, it's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. Yeah, if we don't... I, I was going to be done soon anyway, but yeah, if we don't catch something in the next two casts, that's it for me. <laughs> this is a snooze fest. Right. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right when I said that, caught something. The tiny one. What'd we get? 
a green sunfish with a marshmallow. Half a pound and half a foot long. What a beast, chat. That is magnificent. So beautiful. So large. That's a big one. Very nice. Gosh. Get out of here. My goodness. Whew. All right. <laughs> Jeez. What a joke. All right. We also have some spots up here. Let's try our luck. Got a nice little current going over this bridge. Let's see if we can snag something. Snag a little something something. You know what I'm saying? Go against the current. You never know. That's not even an appetizer. I know. Definitely nothing to get excited about. <laughs> All that waiting to catch that little turd. Told you the cork needed to be lowered. Yep, it did. All right, we'll cast, or not cast, we'll reel in till it gets close to the surface. And we'll let it drop back down, stop and go. Seems the good fishing genes skipped a generation in your family. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Fent Farmer? How are you? You've been here the whole time? I know you were in here earlier. Frosty needs a six pack of Coors Light and a ham sandwich like a real fisherman. Come on! That's right, Raya. I need to be done. That's what I need. <laughs> That's what I need. Man, absolutely nothing. I have not caught anything with this fishing pole tonight at all. And it makes zero sense to me because I was catching lots of stuff off stream with the same exact setup. Like I don't I don't know what's going on. It is just haven't caught a darn thing with it. Oh well. I mess I totally jacked something up with that setup. Let's see if we see any fish get close to it. Might be able to actually spot them now. up Eric Taylor your best catch of the night is probably going to be the fever with all the skeeters my best catch of the night was is it six pounds it was almost six pounds I think it was a gold golden trout and then I caught a rainbow trout that was like five something pounds those were the catches of the night and that was earlier in the show I, you don't want me to catch it, Coop. I, I, I'm not the one to catch anything tonight. <laughs> no. I will not be able to catch you anything. I'm sorry. Like, seriously, come on. There's got to be something in there, right? Got to be a little fish in there somewhere. 
fi the fish, they all powwowed together. They're like, hey, big, big frosty stream in the night. Let's make sure we disperse, okay? We don't want him to be catching us, okay? We don't want him to be giving anybody anything to see, okay? Let's go hide. That's what the fish did. They ganged up on me and they're like, nope. Not tonight, Frosty. Not tonight. That's exactly what happened. I can tell. I can tell. Do they have an underwater cam? No. That other game does, though. That's actually uh, really cool on the other game. How you can do that. Oh my gosh. Ooh, let's go to the salt lands. That's nice. Or whatever you call it, the steaming springs. Pretty cool area down here. Yeah, there we go. Where are we? The Golden Ridge Reserve, the hot springs. Yeah. Very nice. We should be able to see a darn fish come right up to that from this view. Have you ever tried the fishing planet? Yeah, I've played that. I've played... Uh, Whatever the one Rye is talking about has an underwater cam. I forget what it's called. There's there's a one and part two. Ultimate fishing, maybe that's what it's called. It's okay. It's fun for like an hour and then it's like you never play it again. At least I don't. I, I, I get bored just like I am now. This is super boring, not catching anything. Beginning of the stream was fun though. We were we were bringing them in quite a bit. Absolutely nothing in here. Mm -mm -mm. Can't catch nothing, chat. I'm better at fishing on uh sunken land. I can catch a fish every time I put the worm down in there. Yep. <laughs> oh, brother. Alright, chat. I've had enough for tonight. That's super boring. But I hope you enjoyed uh, when we were catching stuff. But that's, that's going to do it for me. It's only fun when you're uh, catching things and enjoying the game. But I've literally, I, I went almost an hour tonight without catching anything. Super crappy, super boring. So, uh, but thank you for hanging out. Thank you for uh, the super chats from Kevin and Chris and Fent Farmer. Thank you guys. Thank you for the anniversaries, for your memberships, a few of you out there. Thank you guys. I'll see you later. Uh, like I said, no stream tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday. Friday, you'll probably see me back on Friday. Keep an eye on the other channel, the Pew Pew channel. You might see some content. It won't be very long streams, but you might see some stuff on uh, Pew Pew with Frosty, exclamation mark Pew Pew. Uh, I think that's exclamation mark Pew Pew. Yeah, go subscribe over there. You might see me play some shooter games over the week. Uh, might be in the daytime, like random oddball times. I don't know. But uh, thank you for hanging out. We'll catch you next time. Have a splendid week. And we'll probably be on the Survival Series Friday if there's a stream Friday, which there should be. But uh, sound good? All right. We'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming signing off. Good night. Sleep tight. This game sucks. See you later.